Sulfur is the 16th element on the periodic table. It is a yellowed solid that burns with a blue flame, and is also used in tires and plant fertilizers. So today we are going to try and extract some sulfur from pyrite slash iron disulfide. The basic way of doing this is by decomposition of pyrite to FES and F and S. Sorry. Uh, this will release a sulfur atom, and the pyrite's decomposition temperature is around 500 degrees Celsius, so it's no biggie. But since the decomposition point is so high, the sulfur would burn and react with the oxygen to make sulfur dioxide. And this is very dangerous to inhale. So to overcome this problem, I just threw it in... Uh, some lead pipe that was capped and sealed off. Just created a closed system where nothing is allowed in or out and chucked it into the fire. This makes it so that the oxygen inside of the pipe reacts and once that is done the sulfur won't have any oxygen to react with and just evaporate out. After this process is done we have FES which is quite magnetic unlike FES2 and uh, sulfur, but we just need to separate them out now. So to obtain pure sulfur, we're going to need to use acetone. Now I'm only using acetone as this is the only thing that I have that could dissolve sulfur, according to this website anyway. But other mediums could be used. To be honest, I'm kind of skeptical as this is the only website I found this information on. Now, we can see here I'm loading a good amount of acetone in here. This is because I don't know how much sulfur would dissolve in the amount of acetone. So I'm just adding what I feel like to be in excess. Next, to heat up the mix and bring the acetone to a light boil. I'm going to get a capture flask here to collect the excess acetone. I'm going to use some aluminum foil to insulate the, my flask better. Well, retort. Uh, the collected acetone could just be poured back into the bottle for later use. After the whole process, I tipped out the acetone in the retort and poured it into a, a separate flask. Now, I would record a time lapse, but my camera couldn't see the small crystals forming so I had to take photos instead. Now we can see that the sulfur crystals we've collected is a little dark. Now it's not too much uh, sulfur that we've collected but it's just enough to prove this concept. So since our sulfur is a little bit dark it's not exactly pure but it's good enough to you know, put up this demonstration. I could also recrystallize it to get a better purity, but I do not see this worth it as the amount of sulfur I have is tiny and recrystallizing it would take too much effort. Anyway, it's time to see the blue flame that I was talking about earlier. Since there isn't too much sulfur there, it was difficult to get a long lasting flame, but we managed. Well, that's another element to the collection. If there's any other experiments you would want me to do, just comment them in the comment section below. And with that said, hope you enjoyed. See ya!